guys, it's Geeky Crossing, and today I am going over the designs, the custom designs that I used on my island. And you can see all of these used on my island tour, which um, was the first upload I did. Um, so we're going to start with one of the ones I used in quite a few areas. So this was one of the creators, Amaya, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And that's their design code at the bottom, and I'll put that in the description as well. And I used um, this cream brick pattern. I used quite a few of these. Um, I used the rounded edge corners and things, and I used that in my B&B design um, and quite a few other areas throughout the island. And as you can see, they have loads of super cute pink floral designs, um, Sakura blossom petals, uh, cute little sprites, and um, yeah, it's all very, very cute. They've got no pro designs, but they've got more than enough custom designs. Um, yeah, this cloud one would look so cute. And I think these would really suit a lot of fairy core or um, kid core islands or anything else you could incorporate them into. They're so pretty. So that yeah, that is the first um, creator that we've got. This is the second one, UA11 or UA11. Um, they have absolutely loads of really cute custom designs that look like books and things like that. And they say things like welcome, continued, and there's ones with little cute paw prints on. So that's super cute. But personally, I use their grassy road path and I just used a mix of all different ones um, throughout my island. Um, I didn't use them all because, like a full set because I just didn't have space. Um, but as you can see, they've got so many variants and different uh, colors and they've got just such a, a large array of designs that I think would look cute on absolutely loads of islands so I would definitely check this creator out and we'll move on to the third here's the next one this is uh, Yeevee, um, Yeevee, I'm not too sure um, and I used uh, these two designs in my island on quite a few areas I used them down at the cafe restaurant wedding area um, at the outdoor seating and I've used them um, as pathway and different uh, variants of pathways throughout the entire island actually I really liked these these were some of the first ones I downloaded and they've got these really cute like wooden ones as well I think these would look really cute around the beach and things like that and they've also got the cherry blossoms or little pink hearts in them so yeah really really sweet designs here um, and they do have some pro designs that this one's really sweet um, I think they're all really cute actually, so I would definitely check this person out if you're interested and again they've got these more sort of symmetrical, more intricate designs as well that you could use as tiles or anything like that, so yeah that's that one. Okay the next one is Mia, now this person has done a lot of designs, they've created, I haven't used any of their custom designs, I've just used some of their pro designs, now well, they've got these DIY ones, all different stall designs, these fabulous uh, fashion things that you could put on the signs um, and overgrown window yeah it really could suit a lot of different styles and I think this person would definitely um, is worth checking out but I will also show you their pro designs because they have such a huge range um, I personally have downloaded some more of the sort of cottagecore themed ones but they've got absolutely loads of designs um, yeah I think I downloaded uh, this one and uh, this one yeah I think these designs are absolutely amazing and this person is definitely worth checking out again all the all um, the creator codes will be in the description okay so I'll move on to the next one now and from this designer I used the sand sun and the sand star for um, to break up my beaches and add in some patterns there um, but as you can see, they've got a lot of other designs as well that would be really cute on a lot of islands. These ones with the stall, with little ice cream cones, flowers. Um, yeah, really, really cute designs, and this person is definitely worth checking out. And they do also have some pro designs. And there's quite a big um, variety here that would suit a lot of different styles. Um, that one's so cute. Yeah, so um, Elise, definitely worth checking out again. I use a lot of hats as decoration throughout my island and this one, Reiru, 
Um, I use quite a few of this person's. Uh, they've got uh, tiramisu, carrot cake, berry cake. I really, that one looks apps. They all look amazing down actually. And I use definitely use the blueberry pie. And they've got um, all different colors. Um, so you can really use a lot of these designs anywhere. And they're so highly detailed. I think these these ones are really good quality. And they look really really good set down. Um, and you can see that in person on my island tour video. This was another one of the custom des um, designs that I had. I've used this as my flag, so I thought it was super cute. And I've also used it to p place like a painting on an easel th um, in a couple of places around the island. What I did notice is there were quite a few of um, people creating this deer one, so I'm not sure who the original creator is. So um, I, I can't I can't tell you, but um, I'll show you. There was um. Yeah, there was one here, and there was one here, and I, yeah, it, there's quite a few of them, and some of them are just very slightly different, um, so I'm not, I'm not sure, um, but yeah, I think, yeah, I think they all are very slightly different, so I think this is just this person's variation of it, um, but yeah, there are loads of different ones of these ones, so, um, if you didn't quite like that one, some of the others might be worth checking out as well, but personally, I thought this one was super cute. So that's the one I downloaded from that person. I used this one um, for one of my stalls as well. I thought this was super cute. And um, yeah, it, the colors fit uh, quite a few of the areas of my island really well. Um, and that's like a pale pink and, and dark pink. Although it looks um, over to the right like it's more white, but it is like light pink. And that looks really, really pretty on the stalls. I also used this design on my island, it looks so cute, I used it as a cushion design on some of the extra long log benches and I've also placed it as a painting and I also used it um, as a custom design on unfinished puzzle. It looks super cute and it's really versatile and I really really like this and this is by Beth and um, there's her creator code. This was the puzzle, uh, the, sorry, the... <laughs> This was the puzzle design that I used. I really like this one. It looks super 3D. It looks so cute on cobblestone. And I've used this in quite a few areas of my island and it looks really, really cute on anything. And I really recommend um, this design. I also used this design on my stalls, which was also really, really cute. It looks like little sparkles on top of the stall. It looks really, really cute. Uh, very fairy cool. Um, um, I use a lot of stalls on my island and this I loved this one. It looks really, really nice out and it matches a lot of the pinks in some of the other items. And uh, I would definitely recommend, recommend checking uh, this creator out, Nicole. This was another design I used for stalls. This is from Liv. Um, I really, really like this one. I use this as like a flower shop as well, but um, I would use this in like lots of other things. Like you could use a coffee shop or anything else. If the colors work, it's so cute and it would work with like it worked, well, it worked with my theme and I think it would work with any sort of natural themes or if you wanted to just bring in a flash of something else into your current island. So I would recommend checking uh, this person's custom signs out as well. This was one of the design codes that I used on the floor as well um, to add foliage and a bit more depth, which was a clover design. Um, that was one I used and as you can see, there are absolutely tons and I'm sure there are more to be found. Um, for different styles and things like that that might suit your island on things like Twitter or Instagram or wherever you find your design codes um, But that's one of mine. This was the um, cherry blossom petal uh, Custom code that I used throughout my island. I use this in so many areas um, Just so even when it was or wasn't cherry blossom season that it would still bring those pink petals throughout the island So I love this one. There are absolutely loads in different shades of pink um and all the and different patterns and different amounts and you get like pink clovers so there's absolutely loads um for what you may want so yeah super cute design i used two of this person's signs i used fairy path one and fairy path two and as you can see they've got some um other custom designs and they've got a sailor moon pro design um yeah these paths look super cute i use them along my beaches i use them along some of the character homes and I also put them on top of uh, a dirt path and that also looks really, really cute if it, um, and I've used that in areas where I've just had the one block of dirt path. Um, and yeah, it looks really, really good.
So that is it for all the custom codes I used. I did have um, some more, but I couldn't find them. Um, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to include all of them, but I did a thorough search and managed to include um, almost all of them, I think, other than possibly three. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you wanted to see any of these custom goods in person, you can check out my Island Tour video. And if not, I will catch you next time. Thank you. Bye.